everyone, Cop Gamer ASC here, back with another video, and this time, it will be my review to Arsenal, I mean, boring, bloody Burnley, one Arsenal one. And to be honest, yeah, Burnley didn't look boring in that game, did they? Oh look, come up against Arsenal and we play exciting football. Mm, I wonder why. So yeah, I'll be going over the things, um... I'll be going over a few things in the match. And yeah, there will be strong language in this video, because this is where you're going to start to see me get pissed off. I mean, I was okay with the game. I was really, we were doing really well. And then, yeah, it got to a point where I was getting really pissed off. And yeah, that's how I feel. And some of you might look at me and think, this is only a game. Just, trust me, it's more than a game when you football... Become a football fan and your life will change. So yeah, anyway. So yeah, let's go on with the game anyway. So, we start out really well. A Bamian, beautiful run. A William, a prom I think that was another assist. An assist from William as he continues his redemption. And we score a goal that I thought was going right. And it surprisingly went in, but still. Very cool kind of goal. And a very bizarre one. And we're just... Oh, and we're just playing really nicely. And then and then up until the 36th, 38th minute, Jacquard makes a score. Well, it started out with Leno. And then what the frick was, fuck was Granit Jacquard doing there? What the frick? I mean, it was, I was nearly in stitches when that went in. It was hilariously bad. Mind you, a rather hilariously bad goal, thinking it's more funny. But I was, me and my brother were in stitches watching that. What the f... What happened? I mean, it was a schoolboy error. We shouldn't even be in that position in the first place. We shouldn't be playing out from the, from the freaking back. Why are we playing out from the back? When you know we're being under pressure. Oh, look. Oh, hang on. Yeah, pass it over. Oh, yeah, he gets his first goal against us. He probably gets his first goal of the season. What a surprise it comes against us. I think it was Chris Wood who scored it. Yeah, enjoy that. That was the only bit of luck you're going to get. But, yeah, we can see the most stupid-ass, lame-ass goal that I have ever seen us concede. That is probably the most hilariously bad goal... I have seen us concede this season, and I've seen us concede some pretty awful ones, but that, we were laughing so hard at it. I was near, my brother was nearly on the front, may I point out he hasn't been well either. And yeah, what the frick was he doing there? And then it's all of a sudden we have to get to half time, and then we come out in the second half, Burnley are just all over us. Why aren't we pressuring him? Why aren't we getting the job done? And I thought they would sell for one all. But no. Why are we selling for one all? Because it certainly didn't look like Burnley were, were selling for one all, weren't they? It may look like it, might work. They were having chances. And if it wasn't for Leno, we could have lost that game. And that. I mean. What? I mean, we throw on Lacazette. We throw on Pepe thinking they can make an impact. They did. But it was too late. It was too late. They could not make an impact. They just could not make a freaking impact. They tried to, they tried everything. But they they were just happy to defend. I bet it was easy to watch them defend if you're a Burnley fan. Oh easy, even if they're free on goal. Do you know why? Because they're the most easiest team to defend against no matter what. They could have we we could have had like about a hundred extra time and we still wouldn't have scored. You know, because they were, quite, they were easily blocking the goal. Trust me, they were easily blocking the goal. And as for that, why weren't we taking our chances? We could have, when that goal against Xhaka came in, we could have been 2 or 3 nil up. Why aren't we taking our, why aren't we taking our sweet ass time in matches again? Why are we ta not taking our fucking chances? Sorry if I'm swearing, but, this is where you get me fuming. Because that was the 
shittest goal I've ever seen. I said it was hilariously bad. I mean, you should watch it by now, all you gooners, but trust me, it's not a nice goal, and yeah, you're probably surprised. I mean, I've kept hearing for so long about this chance taking on the channel. I have to let it out now. I really do. What a nasty goal to concede. I mean, Jacker passing it. Leno, you should have booted it long. Leno, you should not have played out from the back when clearly there's a player in our penalty area. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pass it to Xhaka. Oh, Xhaka, yeah. And yeah, it was like they were sent... It was like it was a sabotage game. They looked like on a mission to sabotage. We're lucky Burnley weren't that good in scoring. Because if that was a decent team, we would have been thrashed. Now, to be fair, we did get going again. We did actually... We should have had a penalty once, but... That second penalty was not a penalty. Trust me, it was off the shoulder. The AR got it right there. But the beforehand, that was a blatant handball. That was literally a blatant handball. I mean... It was a blatant handball, that's all I can say. Yeah, the ref, like, check complete. They sabotage the game. I mean, I feel... I feel sorry for anyone else you have to go through VAR scrutiny. Because we ran that other club from getting decisions go our way. Their way. But guess what? They've had the same... Every team have had the same problems with VAR all season. And yeah, now I am worrying severely about the next match. Arteta kind of got it right. Like I said, I, I don't mind us resting, but at least give a go. At least, you know, get the job done. Not flipping piss ass around all the time. At least get the job done and then we can move on to the next game. Now, you'll notice if you follow me on Facebook, I haven't written a review. The reason why I haven't written a, re a review yet, because I find it hard to review these kinds of games. Because I find it hard to know what I make. So therefore, I'm going to be talking about it instead. Not writing about this match. But no, like I said, I don't know what happened. And yeah, Burnley were having chances. Xhaka looked like he was trying to get himself sent off. I mean, we've had enough of that. But yeah, like I said, that was it, really. We had chances, but if we started that a whole lot earlier in the second half... We could have been in, won that game. Why are we choose leaving it late when they, we could have worked them there, but we leave it late and they, and they still don't look tired without the ball. Because they, they're happy to have us have a battle. So yeah. Anyway, that was my match review. Sorry for the language. But you're going to be hearing a lot more of that potentially. You're going to be hearing a lot more language like that on this channel. So anyway. This next match coming up, you better not be doing this next league match. You better not be doing this to us, Arsenal. You better not be making these interferences in the individual errors in the next match. You better not even try to kill me. Because we're going to have a major rant after that match if we lose. Before, after the Europa League first leg. This is the league match. It's the North London derby next. And if I see any of what I saw today in terms of individual errors, VAR mistakes and whatnot, I will literally rage with despair. I will not... I'll come on here and have probably the biggest rant I could ever have on this if I see any of that. Because I've had enough of it this season. Next... And yeah, you better know what the freaking North London derby means. You better know how much I absolutely hate the team we are coming up against next in the league. Trust me, we will not, I will not be happy if I see any of that. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. It will probably be my preview to the Olympic Argos game. Might get that out early. And yeah. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. And yeah, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Goon are out.